Following discussions among representatives of all parties in the House, I understand that there is an agreement to observe a moment of silence in memory of the victims of the attack in London and to commemorate Christine Archibald from Castle Gar in British Columbia. I now invite honourable members to stand. Mr. Speaker, on Saturday, our friends and allies in the United Kingdom were once again attacked by radical Islamic terrorists. I want to thank the Prime Minister for his statement, and I trust that all members stand in solidarity at this time. A Canadian, Chrissy Archibald from British Columbia, was a victim, and her family is asking Canadians to, quote, volunteer their time and labour or donate to a homeless shelter and tell them Chrissy sent you. I want to echo that sentiment today. Can the Prime Minister please provide us with an update as to the government's response and reaction to this latest act of terror? Right Honourable Prime Minister. It is sadness that I rise and offer our condolences to the family and friends of Christine Archibald, who was a victim of Saturday's horrific attacks in London. As I reaffirmed with Prime Minister May an hour ago, we stand in solidarity with the British people.